guys it's to me i hope you're having an awesome day night whenever you're watching this i've been editing the vlog which is late i usually upload vlogs on mondays but i dropped the keyboard down there and i don't feel like getting it i usually pick it up off the floor do my little macgyver thing didn't feel like doing it just too tired and lazy so yeah and another thing that's late is there is late getting home because he decided to stay late at work and so the cat is worried i guess you could say it's like she knows when he gets off of work well she misses Derek, and so she decided to leave a bird at the back door she left the bird at the door for Derek, so he'll find it when he comes in he's so sweet and thoughtful puppy that you just saw in the last clip. His name is Sparky. He's a pretty cute little dog. It's Chihuahua. Now Sparky's owners like to try to be slick. I already told one of his owners that I wasn't gonna let Zoe breed because I just didn't want to and if she had puppies I wouldn't want to give them away. It's like they couldn't take no for an answer. So what Sparky's other owner did and his mom, she went to Derek. She caught up with Derek because Derek was walking home from work. So she took the opportunity to let him know that hey why don't you let Zoe come down here and play with Sparky. I forgot to tell Derek that I ran into Sparky bad and we talked and said and I told him that I wasn't going to breed Zoe. So he was like, hey, there's a lady down the street that wants to meet Zoe. I was like, okay. So we went down there. The lady was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. My husband said that he saw another dog and she's really pretty. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. All right. She kept asking questions. One was, oh, is she still in heat? I said, no, she just got out of heat. She was talking about some, are you sure? I know when my dog is in heat, lady. Don't play with me. The conversation was okay at first. It went downhill after I continued to talk to her. Have y'all ever started talking to somebody and the conversation was pretty cool? And then you make the mistake and exchange information. You start to regret exchanging information because they start to show their true color. Well, that's what happened here. After talking to her, it started to seem like she was missing a couple of crayons out of a crayon box. During our little conversation, I kept my eye on Zoe because I knew what that dog was trying to do. Her dog is really a mess. He started licking Zoe down there in her little pocketbook. Her private area. And Zoe let it happen. Zoe threw her leg up. And I was like, oh my gosh, Zoe, stop. The lady told me, be quiet. They just getting to know each other. Not see, no, it's already time for me to go. It's time for me to go. She just, she is really, really trying me. She kept telling us, oh, well, you know, maybe Zoe and Sparky can have a play date. Then maybe you can watch Sparky while me and my husband go out of town or something. Lady, I don't even know you. I don't know you, lady. And you want me to watch your dog? Okay. Mm -mm. I am not fixing the food with this lady at all. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Are you not ticklish? What do you think? You're not ticklish. I'm not ticklish. Zoe. Can I help you? You got a steering problem, Zoe? Huh? You don't want it. No, you don't want it either. 